Okay, so this video is part four in the chemistry refresher. And so previously we determined what the molarity of our salt, lithium bromide, was. And we did so by identifying the theoretical yield, which was found to be 0 0.020 moles of lithium bromide. And um, the molarity ended up being 0 0.40 molar lithium bromide. So all that's left to do is part B, in which we were told that you had 1.3 grams of lithium bromide precipitated. And so what is the percent yield? Okay, so first we need to know what is percent yield. And uh, that is defined as the actual yield over the theoretical yield times 100%. And that will give you percent yield. And so these actual yields and theoretical yields, you can use uh, two different forms. You can either um, use the actual and theoretical yield um, in moles or in grams. And so we're going to do it both ways. So uh, let's get our actual and theoretical yields in moles and grams. Theoretical. Okay, so our actual yield, we were told that we were that we precipitated 1.3 grams, and earlier we found that we had 0.020 moles of our theoretical. So let's find how many moles of our actual yield there are. So 1.3 grams, um, you can find moles by dividing by the molecular weight, which you can find like we did for lithium hydroxide before, adding up the molecular weights of lithium and bromine. And so that's one mole over 86 point 845 grams, which turns out to be 0 0.015 um, moles. So that goes right here. Okay, and what about grams of a theoretical yield based on this? So you can find that by multiplying by the molecular weight. 86.845 grams over mole, and moles cancel. That gives us 1.737 grams as our theoretical yield. So now, with these numbers, we can look for our uh, percent yield. So if we were to do this based on grams, we would have our actual yield, which was 1.3 over 1.737 grams times 100%, and that will end up giving you 75% yield. You could check it by going the mole route that would be our actual yield, which is 0 0.015 moles over 0 0.020 moles times 100%. And that will also give you 75% yield. So uh, that is the answer to Part B, 75% yield. In this refresher, we have learned how to identify reactants, write a balanced chemical reaction, and use the reaction stoichiometry to identify a limiting reactant, which um, give us a theoretical yield of our product. Um, and then using that information, we were able to identify the molarity of our product and uh, the percent yield as well. And you've completed the chemistry refresher course. Good luck in your chemistry classes this year.